Hello guys, today you are going to learn how to integrate Harvest, the time tracking tool, into AppSmith in three simple steps. First, we are going to register a new developer application in Harvest. Second, we are going to integrate Harvest as a data source in AppSmith using OAuth2. Third, we will connect the data source to widgets using API queries and data bindings. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, let's go to id.getharvest.com and log in with your credentials. So I'm going to use Google because that's what I use to log into Harvest. And when you do that, you're going to see the top menu, a section called developers. So go there and you will be able to create either a personal access token or a OAuth2 application. Let's create an OAuth2 and you need to give it a name, a redirect URL. So the, for the first thing, you can put whatever name you wish. And for the redirect URL, we can grab it from AppSmith. In this case, it's the same for any type of application. Uh, in this case, it's app.appsmith.com slash API slash B1 data sources and authorize. For the access, we just need one access to the account. And for the product, it's going to be only Harvest. We don't need access to forecast in this case. So go ahead and create the application. And that's going to give us the client ID and the secret. So keep this tab open because we're going to need those values in AppSmith. Now in AppSmith, let's create a new application or open your existing application that you want to use OAuth. And on the left menu, you will see the data sources. Go ahead and create a new data source and select authenticated API in this case. So when you go there, you're going to give it a name. In this case, I'm just going to put a name Harvest OAuth2. And for the URL, we are going to use the Harvest API base URL. In this case is api.harvest.app.com, sorry, slash two. And for all the other fields, we're just going to leave it empty and select OAuth2 as the authentication type. So when we do that, there's going to be other options we need to fill in. The grant type, we're going to select authorization code, not client credentials, because that's what Harvest uses. For the access token, we want to make sure that it's on the header and not in the URL. We're going to keep it as the barrier prefix and the access token URL is going to be this one right here id.getharvest.com slash api slash b2 oauth2 token where do we grab all of this information from well basically from the harvest official developer information in this documentation right here you will be able to see everything related to the authorization like the url for the token and for the authorize and all the steps on how to claim a token but in this case appsmith will pretty much handle everything for us. We don't really need to do all of these manual steps. Okay, so let's go back to the client ID and client secret. Let's grab those values and we're going to put those into the application that we're building in AppSmith. For the scope, scope is basically the access that we want to give. Remember that we select only harvest. So that's the same thing we're going to do here. We're going to pick the scope that we need in this case, it's going to be harvest all. So let's copy that and let's put it on the scopes field in the AppSmith application. This is very important. Let's make sure that you select send credentials in the body and not in the authentication header because that's what harvest needs. And lastly, let's select the authorized endpoint that we got from the harvest documentation for the authorization. And here you can see the redirect URL that I showed before. Well, this is where we grab it. And that's pretty much it. So now what we can do is go down below and you're going to see this button here, which says save and authorize. Go ahead and click that button and it's going to drive us to the Harvest application. It's going to request us for permissions. We're going to obviously authorize it, clicking on that green button. And when we do that, it's going to go back to um, AppSmith with the authorization and that's it. The authorization was successful. And now we can use this data source to connect to any of the endpoints. So we can do that by creating a new query in the left menu, go to the new query and select the harvest OAuth query as the data source that we just created. So when we do that, AppSmith is going to pre-fill the endpoint that we created at the beginning. So that's very useful for us, our case, right? So let's give it a name to this query. I'm going to call it um, get 
user uh, details and by this I'm going to be calling the harvest endpoint get my information and basically show it on a screen I can go ahead and get the postman collection from harvest and you can see all of the endpoints are there a lot of endpoints that we can use for application but in this case I'm going to use this one to retrieve the current authorization in this case it's a slash users a slash me so I'm going to go ahead and copy that go back to AppSmith and in the query is going to be slash users slash me now click on the run button and this is going to run something very similar to postman it's going to make the request and it's going to store the json so here it is the payload json from harvest using the authentication that we defined in the previous steps so now we can go actually connect this data source to widgets for this example i'm going to use a image i want to showcase the avatar from my account in harvest in the canvas here so let's drag and drop the image and in the default image field right here i'm going to delete what it has already and i'm going to use the curly brackets and call the query that we created which name was get user details and appsmith is going to pre-fill with the data value and also we can see the preview of the json payload here so this is super useful to understand what name of the field i want to put in here so in this case i want the avatar url which has the URL of my profile picture and there it is by just selecting that we can see our picture over there and we can start doing the same with any other type of data fields that we want and the procedure is the same for any type of query we just go grab the endpoint we use the authorization that we define and then we can bind any of the data fields or create custom logic with JavaScript objects so here I also put my first name and last name, and I can continue doing this with any other fields. Just to show you, here is an example of a bigger and more complex application that we build with Harvest. It's pulling data from multiple endpoints, it's showcasing graphs, it's showcasing data, it's showcasing tables, and it's also showing some of the information about a given customer um, projects in Harvest. So that's it. That's how you integrate OAuth 2 from Harvest into AppSmith in three simple steps.